Hey, it's Brendan Payne with Century 21 again, and here with another real estate secret revealed so you as the seller can actually learn how to net more in your pocket should you decide to put a property in the market. So I've gotten a lot of questions I've used in a couple different videos that I've done online through these um, real estate secrets revealed and in other videos I've used the term target marketing and I've actually gotten some questions recently where people asked you know you've referred to target marketing what are you referring to give me some specifics uh, specifics on what you're talking about and so I wanted to do this video so you knew exactly what I'm talking about because it's really really important so think of in the past or even now sometimes uh, a marketing strategy is just put the property on the market um, put it on the MLS, put it in a bunch of different spots, and then somebody's going to come across it and potentially find it. Now, that doesn't require a lot of effort, but like everything else, without a lot of effort, there's not a lot of return. In a good market, then you might actually get lucky um, and get an offer, but usually the offers tend to be lower and the sales prices tend to be lower on those properties that weren't marketed effectively because they weren't marketed effectively to the right group of buyers. Target marketing. So what's target marketing? Target marketing is actually looking at a property and determining who is the best type of buyer for that. So take for instance a condo. The condo that is best suited for someone who's gonna be an investor and only live in there, uh, you know, maybe come down and use the thing a week, maybe never even see it, is going to be a different audience than the property where someone's gonna live there six months out of the year, or maybe they're buying for their child that's going to college. Same with a residential home. A residential home that's out there that is in a gated community that is, um, you know, has all kinds of amenities, but it's got a little bit higher HOA uh, because of those amenities is going to be a different audience than the same size home, same price point that is in a different um, neighborhood. So it doesn't really have a lot to do with the price point, the size or anything else. It's what's the best match between the buyer and the home. Now, in order to know that, in order to be able to identify those, those perfect buyers, then obviously you have to understand the market very well. You have to understand what are buyers looking for. You have to understand what is unique about this neighborhood or this complex that I am getting ready to put a property on the market. If you don't know anything, then you are going to use strategies that are just very um, general and you're not going after anybody specific and that limits the amount of exposure to the right type of buyer that you've got. So identifying the perfect type of buyer, there's a few ways that you can do that. One is you have to have a pretty large database of people that meet that criteria. So let's just say that you figured out, okay, the perfect type of buyer for this property is A, B, C, and D. Those are the characteristics. Now what you can do, if you have a large database, and that usually comes from time in the business or previous experience selling, previous sales in the community, things like that, now you can, once you've identified that person, you have somewhere to go to. Like there isn't this magic um, box of leads that we as agents have access to. You have to have them as the agent. You can't just go say, all right, show me all the people that want this, this, and this, and they show up. You actually have to have that database of people that you can pull from. So over the years, to give you an example, um, all of our buyer leads that come in, get tagged so we know what they're looking for. So when we take a property that is, let's say that it is in a single family home, um, three bedroom, two bath, 1800 square feet in this school district, and we want to go and market towards that ideal audience, we can go and take those different um, features and parameters and go through our past database and pull, put all those parameters in and have it spit back to us all the people that through the years have been looking for that type of property. We can also go back through and look at similar properties that we have sold that are like the one that we're now marketing and find all of the agents that have shown it to other buyers that they've had in the past six months, nine months, 12 months, and now market to those. What we're doing at that point is we're marketing directly to people that we already know are looking for a similar property. 
So we've eliminated the first issue, which is, are they interested in your property? Now, that is the difference in being able to target market the right type of buyer versus just going out there and putting it in the MLS and hoping people come across it. Um, in order to have a database like that, or in order to have those types of tools, then you have to make investments in technology. On a previous video I shared with, um, with the audience on a previous secret reveal uh, about how the internet is not an effective marketing strategy anymore. So just putting it on the MLS really doesn't do anything anymore because everything's on the MLS. So if you are looking to put a property on the market and you're trying to figure out like what is important about the target marketing, you have to find somebody that has made the investments through the years to be able to one, grow the database, two, have things in place so that they can actually target market the right types of buyers, and three, have invested in the technology that allows them to actually convert a lot of those leads that come in so that when they are ready to buy, then they can put them in front of your property. So it all comes down to one goal which is to try to get the property in front of as many buyers that are looking for that type of property specifically because we know when someone is a perfect match for the property, they're going to be more motivated. When they're more motivated, they're typically going to put in higher initial offers and they're going to be more likely to pay an acceptable price to the seller. Hopefully this secret reveal will give you some insight into really what target marketing is and how much of a benefit it can offer the seller versus just putting it in the MLS and frankly hoping that somebody comes along and buys it. Thanks so much. I look forward to talking with you again soon.